Hello friends, this video on states of matter part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 21. So let's understand this question, this is a little tricky question. The drain X, the drain cleaner, it contains some aluminium which reacts with caustic soda to produce dihydrogen. Let's take the reaction first. Aluminium plus caustic soda plus water in the drain, it gives NaAlO2 plus some hydrogen. If you balance the reaction, you will get something like this. I won't spend time in balancing this. If you have issues in balancing equation, watch my video, class 10 videos where we explain the chemical equation equilibrium and we have taught how to balance the chemical equation. You get something like this. Now, in this case, if you see, the question says what volume of dihydrogen that is this guy is produced at 20 degrees celsius 20 degrees celsius one bar of pressure when 0.15 gram of 0.15 gram of aluminium is reacted see with this equation we know that at standard temperature and pressure stp we know the equation that my two aluminium is 54 grams so 54 grams of aluminium will give how much? 3 into uh, 3 moles of uh, hydrogen you can say and 1 mole is 22403 ml. So this many ml of hydrogen gas because we are asking in the terms of liter how many volume of hydrogen gas right. So at standard temperature and pressure 54 gram of aluminium gives this much volume of hydrogen gas. So at standard temperature pressure 50, 1.5 gram will give how much? So 0.15 gram of aluminium at STP will give how much? 3 into 2240 this number into 0.15 by 54 right milliliter of hydrogen. Correct. So if you solve this, this is nothing but 186.07 milliliter of sorry 67 milliliter of hydrogen gas so at standard temperature and pressure because with the reaction this reaction happen as standard temperature and pressure so at standard temperature and pressure 0.15 gram of aluminium will give 186.67 milliliter of hydrogen gas correct now the question is what will be the volume of this gas if we change the setting of temperature and pressure. So this is my let's suppose case 1. So case 1 I have pressure is equal to 1 atm. Right and volume is equal to 186.67 milliliter and my temperature is 0 degree Celsius that is 273.15 Kelvin. This is my stage 1. Case 1. Case 2 pressure is 1 bar, 1 bar is almost equal to 1 atm. Volume 2 is what we have to find, and temperature 2 is something which is known that is 20 degrees Celsius, that is 20 plus 273, that is 293.15 Kelvin. Right? 20 plus 273.15, that is 293.15 Kelvin. I have to find this volume. Correct? I can use the formula P1 V1, T1 is equal to P2 V2 T2. So with that I get V2 as nothing but P1 V1 by T1 into T2 by P2. So you put all the values. So P1 is 1, 186.67, V1, T2 is 293.15 by T1 is 273.15 and this is uh, pressure is not 1 actually is equal to is, is 0 0.987 atm actually because 1 bar is 0 0.987 so let's use the exact value let's not use the uh, approach value so 1 uh, one atm is nothing 1 bar is nothing but 0 0.987 atm so we'll just match the signs here this become 0 0.987 atm this is 1 atm this gets cancelled and this is in milliliter this is in kelvin this is in kelvin Kelvin also gets cancelled. So you solve what you get is 203 milliliter 
and that is biopsy. Why will it Because only your one unit is pending, other units are cancelled. Correct. So in this case, you should know have the idea of stoichiometry also. Because idea of stoichiometry gives us the fact that 0.5 gram of aluminium at STP gives 186.6 milliliter of hydrogen. And with this learning we have got from this chapter, we can find out that this volume of hydrogen at STP will be equal to 203 milliliter of hydrogen at 20 degrees Celsius and 1 bar of pressure. So the question says what will be the pressure exerted by 3.2 gram of methane and 4.4 gram of carbon dioxide in a flask that is volume of the flask is 9 dm cube at 27 degree Celsius. So it has carbon dioxide and methane. It has methane as uh, 3.2 gram and carbon dioxide as 4.4. And the lot reacts, so this will not react, the pressure total will be nothing but the partial pressure by methane plus partial pressure by carbon dioxide. Right? And the pressure is nothing but, I know the formula pressure is nothing but uh, N R T by V. And since number of moles you have to find, so we can write N as nothing but mass by molar mass. This is the formula I have. So pressure of CH4 will be, what is the value of uh, M, mass of CH4 that is this guy. Uh, 3.2 grams, 3.2 gram by, what is the molar mass of CH4, 16 gram per mole into R T by B, so into R is what, 8.314 into T is what, T is my uh, 273 degrees Celsius, will be equal to what, 227 plus 273, that is 300 Kelvin almost. So, because this temperature has to be in Kelvin, RT by V, V is what, uh, 9 dm cube. So, 9 dm cube is nothing but 9 into the power minus 3 meter cube. Correct? I am putting anything in SI unit. So, I got the value of RS 8.314. Correct? So, if you solve this, you get 5.543 into 10 to the power 4 you get Pascal. Correct. Please note I have used this unit 8.314 so I am getting it as Pascal. So this is my pressure of CH4. Let's find the pressure due to carbon dioxide. Same formula. M by M. What is the M? Mass of this 4.4 gram. Molar mass of carbon dioxide is also 44. I will use the value 8.314, temperature is 300K and the value of uh, volume is 9 to the power minus 3 meter cube. So whatever you get is 8.2.777 into 10 to the power 4, here also you get Pascal. So the pressure total will be, you add these two values, total pressure, right, because this is nothing but pressure of methane and pressure of carbon dioxide, that is 5.543 into 10 to the power 4 plus 2.277 into 10 to the power 4 Pascal. That is nothing but 8.314 into 10 to the power 4 Pascal. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.